Hey everybody, looking a little rough, it's early this morning, but me and, uh, I can't you see, just, it's just rocky, it's just rocky me out here in the woods, because we are going grouse hunting, uh, me and Scott have bought all the sides for our, you know, Thanksgiving, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving anymore, um, but we decided that we would switch this holiday up, and in order to eat, we have to catch the grouse ourselves. This is a BB gun, so it's going to be challenging. But that's why I brought Rocky, because he's a really good dog to flush them out. And uh, when they come down, he'll grab them for me. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Cross our fingers. Because if... So I'm going to go first for a little while, and then me and Scott will switch up. And I don't know if we'll do it a couple times or not. But... Um... If we don't get anything, we're just eating sides because <laughs> we did not buy anything. Um, you know, we are going to go grouse hunting and I will let you know how we do. Um, if we get near anything, I'll try to videotape it, but we have to kind of be quiet out here. I do have my bear spray. i am got everything I need to make sure me and Rocky are safe. So now we're off to hunt and Scott will videotape his. So we're off and uh, wish us luck. I have to tape a little bit again. I don't know. This looks like moose tracks, maybe, in the mud. Uh, but anyways, Rocky is so happy to be solo. Right, Rocky? You're happy buddy, eh? He's happy. Um, Jax is, uh, can be uh, a little bit irritating to the other dogs. He's getting to that age where they don't consider him a puppy anymore, so they're starting to... You got something, bud? They're starting to uh, kind of lean into him a bit because he's trying to find his position in the pack. And they want to make sure he remembers that it's at the bottom of the pack for now. Um, so, he is having a great time just being me and him solo. Right, buddy? We've been together for eight years now. And he's been an extremely amazing loyal gr just a great dog just a great dog and i am so fortunate he came into my life through rescue through second chance animal rescue in windsor and he was my foster and scott talked me into adopting him <laughs> i'm so grateful because he's been such a good dog for me out here especially with my hearing impairment i really thought we'd see grouse around here because this is a heavy spot for them so I'm getting a little bit worried so my neighbor has a lot of feral cats so maybe the bird population might be down I'm not sure so we'll continue on though well I'm pretty sure I've been pocket recording for about 20 20 minutes walking around here I have to say Rocky is such a well-behaved dog he's not actually stirring anything up it is so quiet out here like not a chipmunk not a bird it's just super quiet i'm off trail right now i kind of wanted to go into this little pine area they seem to like uh the spruce trees and i started videotaping sideways because i realized if i put this up on youtube it looks horrible the other way so the first half will be the wrong way sorry dad anyways there's usually a lot of mushrooms and stuff here. I'm just going to check out this area real quick and maybe head back. And if Scott's not ready to go, maybe I'll take the two younger ones because maybe they'll scare stuff up better. I don't know. He's uh, just kind of weaving in and out here where the other ones are just like little well, psychopaths out here. So... <clears throat> And they usually do. They just scare them and they usually land up in a tree. And that's kind of what I'm planning. And then kind of ping it off in the tree. That's that's the game plan. And the reason why I have Rocky is because I know if Rocky grabs it, he'll bring it to me. Where the other two, mm, you know, my chances are hit or miss with those two. Uh, it's definitely Jackie. I can't see Jackie wanting to give anything up. We tried to get a mole from him, and he swallowed it whole. So, yeah. But he's a one-year-old. So he still needs some training, for sure. 
Well, Rock, we're going to go into these pine trees here. If we don't stir anything up, we're going to head back, buddy. So, here we go back at it. Um, <laughs> I think if we do catch anything, our dinner's going to be kind of late. I think it's almost like noon right now. So, I don't know if this is prime time, but I'm going to bring these two uh, the little rugrats out because I was finding that... Hey! Rocky's just not stirring anything up because he's just too loyal of a dog. Just And these guys tend to branch out and skirt me all the time. Sometimes lap me. So I need something ripping through here and kind of sending the birds up in the trees. Where Rock was just doing a casual strolly old man's, old man's stroll through here. So hopefully these two... Uh, Maniacs will help me get a bird. If not, Scott's going out next. So these guys have not flushed anything out. There is a squirrel up in this tree, but uh, we're not hunting squirrel. We're not that desperate. <laughs> We've got enough sides that we'll be fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's starting to rain a little bit harder, so I'm going to get back and now <laughs> let Scott go. <laughs> um, anyways... Ah, uh -uh, let's go. I'm trying to get out of here before they spot that guy up in the tree. He's been uh, very quiet up there, so we'll leave that little squirrel alone and we'll head back. Good luck, Scotty. Go get us some dinner because I have failed. <laughs> no problem. Or we'll starve to death. Okay, I'm back out here. Scott's on the other side of the property. I'm on this side of the property because my competitive nature does not want to not get a bird and he get a bird, so I'm back out here, but I'm going to do a different trail, our old trail that we didn't use last year, and hopefully, maybe, me and Mel Mel can stir up some birds. She's too busy, I hope she doesn't roll in any animal poop, so, yeah, and she is on lead because, uh, like I said, her uh, callback is not the best. And she is alone. When she's with the other dog, she's pretty good and stays in the group. But with just me and her, and we're going to be kind of close to, well, not really super close, but we're going to be in an area that runs near my neighbor's property line. And I don't want her going over there because we have enough issues with his dog coming over here. So I don't want my dogs over there. But anyways, we are going to do the old trail and see what we can stir up. Well, it looks like we're about to run it over to Scotty Boy. Oops, Millie stopped turning me around. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. I can see his yellow jacket. What if I shoot him in the back with a BB? <laughs> no, I won't do that. Although, <laughs> safety first, people. He's being so quiet. Except for he's in my area. Oh, sorry for the spins, guys, but I've got hands free going on, and when she spins, What are you doing in my area? I'm just bringing her back to the cabin. I, t I, I did the old trail thinking maybe because we didn't use it last year, there might be something there. I went in there with, uh, I went all through there with Willow and uh, Jackson. I'm not even finding like poop or anything. I said, I'm not even finding, like, poop on the ground. She rolled in something's poop, but it wasn't gross. Yeah. But I'm going to head back, and I'm going to start the sweet potatoes. Because <laughs> those are going to take a while to cook. Okay. 
and I'll let you continue on. But yeah, I'll, I let the dogs run all through there, and <clears throat> but I'm not seeing well, much. I ended up, I went down like Dodd's trail. Yeah. And uh, I kind of thought I was going. Yeah. That way, and then all of a sudden I was like, okay, there's no trail. Yeah. And then I walked a little more, and I'm like, oh, because I didn't finish cutting the grass. Over, what's that shit over there? And I'm like, oh, that's our camp. <laughs> <laughs> Squatters. Squatters. Oh, it's us. Never mind. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna head. I'm heading back to the cabin. Scott has not caught us dinner, so I have to start the sides. So sadly, guys, we did not secure grouse. <laughs> so we are having french fries with gravy, some stovetop stuffing, some sweet potatoes, carrots, and a little bit of ground beef mixed in there, baked like a little meatloaf. So that's what we got going on, right, Scott? Well, we're not dying. We're not dying, that's for sure. We're gonna we're gonna make it to see another day, and tomorrow we'll be cooking in the woods. Have a great Monday, everyone.